Today I'll be showing you 5 tips on how you can improve your bar chords. Tip number 1 is to place your finger right behind the fret you're playing. So if you're playing in the 5th fret, you place your finger, your barring finger, right here behind the 5th metal bar. If you place your finger in the middle or far backward, you're going to need to press a lot harder to make the string string out. You play it back here. It's almost impossible to make the strings ring out. So again, you want to keep it right behind the fret you're playing. If you're playing in the third fret, keep your finger here, right behind the third metal bar. If you're playing in the first fret, again, right there behind the metal bar. Tip number two is to find the position vertically on the fretboard with your barring finger that works best for you. Because everyone has different fingers. If you notice here, you can see the creases in your fingers. This can cause trouble when you're playing bar chords. So what you want to do is to find the position vertically that works best for your finger. Some people keep their finger really high where the, the whole tip is sticking out. And some keep it down here where just the tip is touching the 6th string. It's going to be different for everyone, so the trick here is to just try it and see what works best for you. Tip number 3 is to tilt your finger slightly. If you look at your finger, there's the softer side here, the underside, but if you tilt it slightly to this part, this part is more firm, it's more bony. This is the part you want to use to do your bar chords because it'll be a lot easier to press down with that part of your finger. So place your barring finger right there and then you tilt it just a little bit. The next step is to take your right arm and to push back on the body of the guitar. What this does is it brings the fretboard forward and helps you to squeeze with your left hand on the fretboard. So this gives you a nicer, a stronger clamp. So again, you take your right arm, push back on the guitar, it brings the fretboard forward and it helps you to clamp down on your board. Tip number five is a practice exercise. To do this, all you need to do is the bar on the first fret, strum it once, and then move up to the second fret, strum it once, and do that all the way to the 12th fret, and then you go back. What this does is it builds strength in your hand and your arm. Make sure to apply the previous four tips I just taught you when you're doing this. You can spend five to 10 minutes a day just doing this. It'll really help you improve your bar chords. So if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when a new video comes out. And you can buy our shirts. Again, links in the description below.